I was taking a fat shit while scrolling through TikTok when I suddenly felt lonely from all the couples I had seen talking about celebrating Christmas together. I had the brilliant idea to install Tinder to try and find a girl to talk to. Upon setting up my profile, I used the best looking picture I had of myself to increase the odds of getting a match. I didn't do much swiping before I had come across a very pretty girl named Lizzie. I kept her in mind, however, I had to wait to see if it was a match before I could say anything. It wasn't much after when I found out that it had been a match. I was so excited that I literally jumped out of my chair in excitement, screaming, POGGERS! Assuming that she liked watching Spongebob, I went for the best pickup line I could think of. Hey girl, did you just blow in from stupid town? I was a little disappointed because before I could even finish typing my sentence, she messaged me, asking if I wanted to come over. I had nothing better to do that night, so I replied, sure, I'll be right over. She said, perfect. We can bake Christmas cookies, watch a movie, decorate the tree. She gave me an address that was about 15 minutes away, so I hopped in the Chobmobile and left to go meet her. 10 minutes into my journey, I realized that I was in the middle of the sketchy part of town. I didn't let that bother me, so I ignored it and I kept driving. Finally, I arrived at Izzy's house. I thought to myself, damn, Izzy must not take care of this place very well. Her house almost looked abandoned. There were boards on the windows, the door looked like it was falling apart, the grass was overgrown. I hurried up to the front door in excitement because I was so hyped to meet Izzy and bake Christmas cookies. Without me even knocking on it, I literally walked up to the fucking door and it fell apart. I let myself in and said, hey Izzy, I'm here. I heard multiple laughs coming from various LMAO. places within LMAO. the house. LMAO. Someone must have cracked a really funny joke before I came up to the door, so I just ignored it because that's obviously what it was. Izzy came and met me at the door. Surprisingly, she was actually a girl and looked like her profile picture. To be honest, I thought Izzy would have been an old man child predator. Izzy led me over to the living room where she sat me down and said, I'll be right back. I decided to go on my phone and hop on Discord for a few minutes while I waited. Over from the kitchen, I heard light whispering. It sounded as if there were three or four people total. Izzy came back to the living room and sat down next to me. I said, what movie do you want to watch? She replied, oh Tate, we're not here to watch a movie. She literally fucking said we would watch Christmas movies. So no Hallmark movies? Izzy didn't reply. She just stared at me with an awkward look. She looked over and gave some sort of gesture to the other people in the house. I said, are we gonna bake cookies with your friends? She looked confused, yet nervous at the same time, as if I caught her off guard. Izzy lunged up off the couch and yelled, No, 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 Tate! I'm not Izzy! She ripped off the face mask she was wearing, which was when I made the realization that this was not really Izzy. I was kinda pissed off because I took time out of my day to come see Izzy, so I said, where the hell is Izzy? Is this even the right address? The man said, are you stupid? There is no Izzy, you dumbass. I knew he was lying because I was literally just texting Izzy minutes ago. I replied, dumbass? Who are you calling a dumbass? You're the dumbass. I was just texting with her not too long ago. The man who was impersonating Izzy got a strong grip on me with his friends and ran me outside to an old 2004 Toyota Corolla. They forcefully threw me in and slammed the door. The man then proceeded to hop in the driver's seat. Uh, this car stinks, what have you been eating? I told him. No reply. Oh, so you're just gonna leave me unopened? I yelled. No reply. I decided to shut up until I realized we were now back into the urban part of town that did not look sketchy. They pulled over to the side of the road and kicked me out of the car. They started to drive off and I could not believe what I was seeing. <laughs> I was starting to think that there may not have been an Izzy all along, but that's how the story ends. A young Tate weeped home, lonely and depressed. Holly, holly, jolly bitch, suck on my lolly. Santa off the Zans and he even do molly. In the whip, with your girl, we taking the trolley. Your girl's ass is hot like a fucking hot tamale.
crack open a monster and we sip it like it's Fanta. I gotta educate the kids who don't believe in Santa.